Whoa, 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 whoa. The first more or less appropriate factory made pen mod which in addition can also write? Yellow Spinner, you're on Penstock and today we're gonna dig into the marrow of Flower V4. It has its pros and contras and in this video I'm going to make everything I can so you could have as clear idea of what it is like as it is possible, without actually touching it by yourself at first. This mod, as well as all the mods mentioned in this video, you can easily buy on my online shop penstock.net with the fixed price for delivery all over the world. Guys, the delivery price is comparable with the one which I paid for delivery of a pretty cool beard trimmer over my own CD yesterday. And I offer it for you. Wherever you live, you can get good stuff from me with the nice special signed card in the package. Ok, so take your pen and start to spin. Let's begin. And first of all, I want to say that I'm really happy that this mod appeared in the first place. That somebody except Jigao and PSR Home actually makes tools for us pen spinners, not manually, with seriousness. I was really glad to get these mods and try them out, as they seem to be the first adequate factory made pen mods. I mean, spin pros are ok, but they have a lot of issues. Well, this one also does, but it looks like a mod. Spins and feels fine. And you cannot be ashamed of showing it in your solo video or collabs. And hey, its existence actually means that somebody except me and you does give an F about pen spinning. Isn't it goddamn cool? Spinning flower before differs from spinning Jigawa a lot. Yeah, by the way, you can't find Jigawa on penstock.net. At least not till the time they would manage to make something spinnable. I keep only good mods there. Flower before? You can feel that it was made by people who understand what pen spinning is about. How mods should feel and spin. How grapes should feel and look. What is the nice design of a pen mod? Not that tasteless, obnoxious mess from AliExpress. Well, ok, let's not compare unspinnable Jigao products with pen mods and get back to review. I just really can't understand why Jigao couldn't make anything like that for so long time they've been on the market. The only reason I can come up with they don't give a sh. As for today's mod, as you can see, it goes in four different colors of tracery. Light blue, light green, violet and pink. You know, before making a review I usually spend about one or two weeks with the mod to understand it. During this time nothing had happened with the drawing, not a tiny little detail had erased. So I can tell that the printing is fine, sufficient quality for such a low price. One of the main advantages of this mod for noobs – it can write. Yeah, it has two colors of writing ink from both sides, red and blue. Yo dog, I heard you like to spin and to write, so we put writing ink into your spinning tool, so you could write while you spin. Of course, more advanced pen spinners would want to get rid of these writing inks for two reasons. First one, it adds center weight to the mod, so you have heavy mod with reduced momentum. Pointless. Heavy mods are designed to have a good momentum. That's, that's their purpose, to spin like crazy. Instead you have a heavy mod which spins pretty much unpredictable, due to its screwed balance. And that's a common issue for writable pen mods, by the way. Second one, the writing ink can leak. And it happens pretty often, especially when you spin a lot. You actually can receive a mod with leaked ink. And that's when you're gonna have bad times trying to wash it out. Good thing is, when you wash writing ink, at least it doesn't erase the tracery. As I told before, it is printed fine. With writing ink inside, mod weighs 20.9 gram, without it, 19.6 gram. 
it is 22 cm long, which is a good length. And what I also need to mention, it is thick. If you have any mod on emboss, you can have an idea of how thick it is. That's not a bad thing, not at all. It doesn't mean that if you have, say, short fingers, you can't spin it. Personally, I like to spin thick mods from time to time. They give a very unique sense. So, the body is the same thickness as emboss, more or less, but it feels a bit worse, a bit cheaper, as for my humble opinion. It is also much more slippery, which I don't like. Tell me what you think about slippery bodies, such as Comsa, for example, in the comment section below this video on YouTube. As for me, it is much better for mod to have better grip with fingers. Flower V4 is so slippery that it even squeaks while being spinned. Listen. Caps aside of the mod are without heavy and sharp tips, which can cause damage on the surface you spin upon, as tips are actually covered by caps, though they are not heavy. At all. Let's compare them with air feed tips. They are very good to add momentum to heavy mods, and flower before is heavy. 4.6 gram. Okay. As for flower tips, yeah, they can't add momentum for a mod of 21 and even 19.5 gram. Two tips in sum should add a little less than half of mod's total weight. Instead, we have the semi-round plugs and caps, which raise concerns about Jigawa crap if you know what I mean. They are also not heavy, only 2.3 gram, and don't really add momentum to a heavy mod, as they should do. It is not any metal, it is plastic, as well as tips are. They should not have been made out of plastic. But for low-priced mod, it is okay. Actually, you can see that it is a budget low-priced pen mod in all aspects. Every spare part seems to be a cheaper version of um, different spare parts of the manually made mods. Grips look and feel like Dr. Grip grip at the first glance. Of course, these are much thinner, much less elastic, and you can actually feel that it is a cheaper wannabe DGG, at least by how it fits caps. Do you see these empty airbags here and there? That's it. Bad elasticity. These colored grips here, a cheaper version of Sailor Gale grips. Actually, I don't have any complaints about them, they feel and look good. Connectors, they are like ES pointers from penstock.net, nice. It means you can use other caps on this mod as well. Customization, oh boy! As the total majority of factory made mods, Flower V4 spins unpredictable at some point. I mean, it is a bit awkward to control without writing ink inside and especially with it. Maybe it is a matter of getting used to, but I feel that in different factory-made mods. It is okay to spin beginner and low-intermediate combos with it, but when it comes to complicated combos, power, aerial and multiple tricks, they all start to freak out and flower before is not an exception. Maybe it is more controllable than Spin Pro or Jigawa, but certainly less than most of the manually made mods. In conclusion, I must say that this one definitely worth checking out. It is the first decent factory made pen mod. The history is going on right now, guys. And which also can be used as a writing tool if you want. For its price, it is probably one of the best choices for beginners who don't want to spend a lot of money on a pen mod, but want to have a good idea of what pen spinning is about. Would I recommend it for a pro? Not really. If you have more than one year of practicing under your belt, most likely you wouldn't use it a lot. But if you take PS seriously, you may have one in your collection. History, guys. For sure, there is no better pen mods on the market than manually made ones, at least for now. I'm looking forward to hear from you. What do you think about Flower V4 based on this video review? Do you think it is a good thing that such mods are available now? Do you think 
that factory made mods eventually would totally replace manually made ones. Don't forget to leave a like, I strived to make a good video for you. And if you liked it, let me know about that, that would be really nice. Till the next time, I'm Alex Sukhov, may the style be with you, bye.